Hey guys and welcome back to Kizzy K's channel. It's your girl Kizzy K coming at you with a incredible witch casket. I am obsessed. Uh, I always, I know I say this every month, I'm obsessed. But God, I am obsessed. So they kept putting up little teasers on their page going can you guess this month's theme and i was just like oh my god i can't, I can't figure it out and then i got home literally 10 minutes ago my parcel is waiting for me i rip it open jaw hits the ground guys jaw hit the ground <laughs> i'm not even kidding right now it is insane so without further ado and um, by the way, I hope everybody is doing okay in this heat. I personally am dying. It's killing me. I don't do heat. I don't do cold. I just don't do planet, apparently. <laughs> but anyway, it's fine. So anyway, without further ado, let's get cracking. Oh, I'm so sad. Okay, so this one's theme. I've not, we've, um, like... I've been doing Witch Casket for about a year now um, and sometimes there's a bit of a theme for a couple of months, sometimes there's not, sometimes it's just a random theme, yada 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 and I'm hoping if you girl, girls are listening at Witch Casket please continue this as a theme for the fours that are in this because I think that would just be incredible. So, this month is all about water element. I love water so much. I am such a water baby. Uh, even though I'm Gemini, they say Gemini is an air, um, but I do sway a lot to water. I love being around water, whether it's an ocean, a lake, a stream you know, whatever, apart from swamps, because, you know, they're stinky, but I am obsessed with water. I love being around water, so, you know, having this as a theme is incredible, and I really, really do hope that they do air, um, fire, and, <laughs> oh, I'm so rubbish, ah, oh, there we go, and maybe spirit as well, that would be pretty cool. So, as always, I'll go through the little booklet, and then I will show you all the items inside. It's insane. I'm obsessed. I am beyond excited. It's, yeah, I thought I had my favourite one. Um, maybe May or, yeah, May's one was absolutely amazing. But I think this one is a major runner up for my top three because I can't have a top three actually I don't have any tops they are all you know really high on my list so anyway so this month again like I said is all about water element so in the box you will get a calming aura spray an elemental atomizer kit so the, this opulent box contains everything you need to create a calming aura spray and carry it with you. Spray this around you to be, bring calmness in times of stress. Now I have um, made my own aura spray in the past and I think I still have it. Um, but having different aura sprays and calming sprays of different um, ingredients is actually a really really good thing to keep because sometimes you'll feel maybe a certain chakra is off so you can have a special spray for that chakra or if you're feeling um really really stressed like this one is sounds absolutely perfect because the, it contains uh, an elemental atomizer soda like crystal chips lavender flower and calomel flower um and it says here be mindful of allergies if spraying close to your body so if you are allergic to lavender or chamomile maybe not the 
best decision to spray it on you maybe spray it on the clothes or around in the air so it doesn't actually land on your skin if you have um allergies or just makeup well not makeup but find a, a different use for it um an elemental water bowl uh ultra bowl not water bowl uh, it says use this magical ultra bowl to represent the element of water in your magical space. Can also be used as a scrying bowl, a cleansing bowl, an offering dish, or a ceremonial drinking vessel. Obsessed with that one. And then you get a blue glass potion bottle in a pouch, and it is so adorable. I'm, I love how it's designed. It's so beautiful. Um, now there are loads of ways that you can use bottles um, you can have them for spells you can drink you can store elixirs potions hair blends it's very kind of endless usages so you can do what you like you can always make a um an elemental potion that you can drink um and carry it with you and then you know need a little bit of a refresher a little tipple do that that's awesome uh elemental incense for water uh invite the element of water with this calming gardenia incense and then the in the affirmation is i am calm like the lake and powerful like the ocean i like that an engraved sodalite tumble stone and information card so sodalite is associated with the elements of water um, it is a stone of calm strength and can assist with self-acceptance and emotional balance. Meditate with the stone or carry it with you to enhance your self-esteem, soothe anxiety and promote rational thought. I think I do actually have a sodalite in my bag. I have a collection of crystals that are in my bag at all times. And when I feel the need for something I will dig out the kind of necessary crystal and I will hold it to me usually to my heart or um, sometimes if again one of my chakras is feeling a bit off I usually have a chakra stone that helps with those so love 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 uh, you get an award, a water element in nail pin I'm obsessed with that one I, as you all know I have all of them now attached to my jacket so I can't even say I'm running out of space because it's it's quite a long jacket so there's plenty of space on that for more <laughs> an elemental tea blend so this has jasmine and rose blend uh, promotes all kinds of love romantic love friendship and self-love and the caffeine contents is medium antioxidant level is high and then they've got a blue mallow flower this enchanting flower is imbued with the power to attract love and protection this can be used in incense ritual baths floor washes charm bags spell jars whatever you want it a calm confidence ritual kit contains a blue floating candle love that for calm one passion flower for peace rue for mental strength and clarity that's so cool i love this so much uh the element of water in magic parchment scroll so this is helping you connect with the water element um can be used in cleansing purifying healing and then it's just got a lot of information and then uh the art Print, which is a potion witch starter kit art print. I absolutely love that. Who's that boy? At Mr. K. I think it's Mr. Kit Kitten Graphics or something like that. Yeah. But I love that. I love that so much. Okay, then, so I'll show you everything now. <laughs> So, as always, I start with the little um, art print. I think that is the most cutest thing ever. The little mushrooms, the pumpkin, the wand. I love the whole thing. It's so cute. Some of these would make really cute little tattoos. <laughs> the enamel pin. I think it 
think it goes that way, or does it go that way? No, it goes down. I always get confused. But I am loving the enamel pen, it's so beautiful. What does it say on the back? <laughs> That's so cute. Okie dokie, so I'll do those after. So, and the best thing is, as well, is when you open up the box, there's a really beautiful um, smell that comes from it because of the flowers and the incense, it all mixes together and it's absolutely gorgeous. So this is the Water Element Gardenia Incense and it smells so, so beautiful. Mm. Never actually had Gardenia Incense either, so this is the first for me. This little cutie, I'm obsessed with the bag as well, it's in my element. Oop. There we go. How cute! So this is the um, bottle, uh, potion bottle. I love the shape of it and everything. It's like a gorgeous purpley blue and how the light hits it. It's weird because like on screen it looks purple, but to me it's like a real nice, like, sea blue kind of thing and then it gives you like a little information card and that just tells you how they can be used so it's always great to have more information because information is power so i love that i will find something awesome for that when time comes i am sure this is the engraved sodalite Oh, it's so pretty. So it's a gorgeous piece of soda light as well, and then it's engraved with the water element symbol. Love that. And then it gives you, again, a little information card, um, which is pretty much what I just read off to you. Um, again, great to have information for crystals because a lot of people can get highly confused with crystals or very easily confused when it comes to crystals. Um, I know I do, so I always have to have some information of them on me. I love how they're now giving us like two sachets of the tea as well. So this is the tea blend. Um, again, it just says, um, brew with intent and drink mindful, mindfully ingredients, jasmine, rose and black tea. So you get two lovely sachets of those. This Oh, actually, no, I'll do that one last because that is actually my favourite one. So this is stunning. This is the altar bowl. It's gorgeous. I love it so much. And you can tell that it's been handmade as well because you can feel like, I don't know, how do you describe it? Like, it's not smooth. It's, you know, you can feel where it's been um touched and painted and stuff so you, but it looks smooth as hell and then you touch it and it's got like you can feel feel it <laughs> i don't know how else to describe it like you can feel the little lumpy bumps in it but it's not like bad lumpy bumps it's the good lumpy bumps that makes sense. <laughs> okay so this is the calm confidence ritual kit it contains everything you need to manifest calm and confidence and having calm and confidence is always a brilliant idea because a lot of people can get extremely um, out of it, let's put it in a way, um, in situations. So, yeah, that's beautiful. I love that. So that's the back of the card. I think that's really pretty. So then it will give you the ritual on what to do and I would love this. So this is helping you invoke the powers of the element of water. Water is undoubtedly soothing and calming but it is also very powerful and a force to be reckoned with. So when you find yourself in need of calm, confidence, call upon this element for help. And then it gives you everything you need and then a set of instructions. I love this. This is so cool. So you get a floating blue candle, which is epic. I love floating candles. I want to buy more floating candles, actually. And then you'll have 
my cats are going crazy. Um, you will have your rue and your passion flower. As always, the bags and pretty much everything in the casket um, is biodegradable. So we love having biodegradable and environmentally friendly packaging. Love sleep. It smells so nice as well. Love the smell of passion flower. And then this is blue mallow flower. I don't think I've ever seen this. I uh, use in incense, ritual bags, floor washers, charm bags, spells, etc. Oh my god, that's so pretty. So this is blue mallow flower. I'll try and get you to focus a bit better. Focus. There we go. That's so pretty. Let's have a smell. Oh, that's beautiful. Mmm. It's kind of, um, it's not sweet. Oh, I'm blurry now. There we go. It's not very sweet. It's quite, um, musky, I guess. But I like that so much. I will be using that. I've never actually thought about doing a, a water ritual bath. This might be a new thing for me now. Mmm. Where is the parchment? There we go. And the parchment is a nice light blue. I'm sweating. I apologise. I feel gross. <laughs> it's too hot. I don't like this. So I always do my best not to rip any of this because I just like them too much. <clears throat> mm Ooh. So this is basically a parchment on how to connect with the element of water. It gives you um, crystals that are associated with the uh, element of water. It gives you herbs and plants, and it tells you how you can represent the element of water in your magical space. So yeah, some really nice information on that. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, it's very interesting indeed. I like these. I still keep saying I'm going to do the videos of the parchments, but I keep forgetting because I'm rubbish that way. But I will get around to it. And then, last but not least, is my favourite little one. This is the Aura Spray Kit. I love the box. The box is stunning. Like, obsessive. And then it's a little magnet. There was me beforehand trying to push it because I thought it was one of those ones that you push out, but it's not. It's a magnetic box <laughs> because I'm tired and I'm confused with stuff. Okay, then. So this tells you how to create it. So you'll need one cup of distilled water, your soda like crystals, lavender flower, and your chamomile flower. Heat water in a pan, no need to boil. Add the flowers, stir clockwise with a tent, and place the warm water in a bowl to cool, and then you can transfer it into your bottle. And then this one tells you quite a lot of information. So that's so it tells you number one, so number two is on the back. If you need to preserve the spray so it lasts more than a few days, then you can work with 50% distilled water and add 50% witch hazel or alcohol to preserve. Strain the water, setting the herbs aside, give this back to nature. So um, you can go and put it in your back garden or your front garden, or just put it somewhere nice in the nature. Uh, add a couple of crystal chips to the spray bottle and add the herb infused water. Spray this around you to bring calmness in times of stress. A couple of drops of a calming essential oil can also be added to add more power and fragrance but ensure this is pure plant oil and not perfume oil. That is optional, so that's fine. So it gives you your, your herbs that you need. I love these chips, these are so beautiful. Your soda light crystal chips. Oh my God, they're so small. They're so pretty. And then the bottle, oh my God. Ooh. And dropping the chips everywhere because they're so tiny. 
I will find them. It's okay. The bottle is just gorgeous. It looks like a massive lipstick. It has the elements there. And then, oh my God, you need to twist the bottom. Where's the square bit? And then the square out of there. Oh my God, I've never seen like a twisty bottle before. And there, I love that so much. So that is the Aura Cleansing Spray and I'm obsessed with it, it's insanely crazy. I love it so much. Let's try and put these chips back in so I don't lose them everywhere. So, that concludes July's witch casket and I am highly, highly, highly impressed and super stoked with the whole lot. The Aura Spray has got to be my favourite. It's so cool. I love how it's designed. I love that it's a twisty thing. I've never had a twisty spray bottle before. That's epic. So that's just my mind blown completely. Um, so I really hope you've enjoyed this video. As always, I am not being paid to do these. These are completely off my back and I pay for them every month. And if you live in the UK, they are £27 a month and it will come straight out as direct debit unless you wish to cancel. It's been a year for me and I've not canceled one and I have been in love and obsessed with every single box as if you go back all my previous channels, obviously, you'll notice how excited I am with every single box. And my cat's coming to say hello and be nosy. Hello, baby girl. And come on, come on. Vixen. Come, mommy. And you being cute? Come here. Come say hello. Yes, here she is. This is my little Vixen. She's missed her mommy. I've missed her. So. I hope you have enjoyed uh, watching the unboxing and I'm super excited for next month. As I said, I'm really hoping that they continue the theme of the elements because I love being in connection with all the elements in one and I do like to separate the elements as well as and when I need them. Um, so working with elements is incredible, um, but be very careful with them because they are very powerful. Um, and yeah, I really, really am in love. So thank you to Deb and Ella, Ella, Ellie. They do have their names in here. <laughs> Ella, I got it right. Thank you to Debbie and Ella um again for an incredible witch casket i am super excited for next month and i can't wait to show you guys so i will um pop their website in my description so if you do wish to subscribe and have a nose then by all means um i'm i'm never gonna stop um, and also another um, great thing about Witch Casket is every box they sell, they plant a tree. So I have no idea how many trees they have planted. It's got to be thousands. Um, but they are bringing nature back um, one by one, one box at a time, one tree per box. And I'm more than happy to keep going to see our Mother Earth striving once again and yes so i hope you all have a blessed week and a great weekend or end of weekend should i say because it's sunday evening um but yeah blessed be guys <laughs>